This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Kualoa Ranch, where legends are made. Hey, what's up? You got Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch, where I get all my grass-fed beef. Today on the show, Nani Lim Yap will be joining us. Let's get cooking. When you're living on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you've tasted all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in the kitchen Nani Lim Yap. Thanks for joining us. Aloha. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, we were, we were. I guess we might as well tell everybody who your son is, because he was supposed to be here. Yeah, um, I'm cooking for Mana Ola. <laughs> and we gotta say congratulations to him, and you must be so proud. Yeah. And uh, he was sick. I hope he's feeling better. Um, but you came and filled in like a good mom should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonder Woman to the rescue. Uh, uh, do you cook a lot? I do. Yeah. What, um, when I'm home, yeah. I travel a lot. So. What, what's your like go-to dish that you miss all the time and you gotta have when you come home? Oh, that would be um, canned salmon. Yeah. yeah. And poi. Really? That's, Always. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had that in a long time. My grandfather <laughs> used to eat that all the time. That's awesome. And what are you gonna cook today? I'm gonna do first cook some um, bok choy stir fry. Okay. And, and we got. Uh, um, is this something you make all the time? Well, you know my. Um, Go ahead, my, you can start. My father is very Chinese, uh -huh. so at every meal, there always needed to be two vegetables yeah. and one main dish that's and good. rice. Yeah, gotta have, gotta gotta have, have rice. rice. Yes. Yeah. But that's good, you gotta have two vegetables. Yes, always. You know, we grew up on a farm, you know, kind of a, just a, a, a you know, vegetable farm, mm -hmm. Not, nothing any fancy, but always had vegetables at dinner. Or lunch, or yeah. breakfast. Yeah, always. Yeah. And so you, you're just cutting off the ends there? Yeah, just cut off the ends, like about an inch from the ends. Okay. And just rinsing them in water. That's a, that's a good trick to do to get the dirt off the end there. Yes. Um, it's already been pre-rinsed, but sometimes when you take, don't take the yeah, centers yeah. off, yeah? The tight side on the bottom. Yep. Right? And then, of course, we're going to chop this into one-inch pieces. Okay. One-inch pieces. Now, did you get a chance to go to uh, New York for the big... Uh, New York Fashion Show? Yes, I did. Yeah, how was that experience? Very um, exciting, uh -huh. um, you know, and um, I was told, well, at first I, as I was going out onto the stage with my son, he said, Mom, you got to go out there, you got to do the Oli, open that up for everybody. Uh -huh. I said, okay. He said, but you can't cry. <laughs> and I thought, well, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll try not to. I'll really try not to. And it was very difficult, but he said, no, Mom, can't. Yeah. So... There did we, you did you hold did you hold up? Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, we got some opai. Yes, dry opai. How much? Um, I would say you could take about three to five pieces. These are big ones. Okay, this so. is uh, opai is shrimp. For those of you, you know, we got a lot of new viewers now: Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Dubai. Uh, nice. If you can't find this, you can probably go to like the the uh, the Oriental section in your in your in your you know, Stores, your store, yeah. and you can find some of this. It's dried shrimp, so I'm sure you can find it everywhere. All right, so how many did you do? I did I did five. Okay, five five opai. And we're going to put the recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And then we got some garlic. Yep, got some garlic. So it's already been mashed, and I just chop it just a little bit more. Okay. Yep. So this would be more like a salad. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, it right? Is, it is chopped, but it is, yeah, it's greens for you. Yeah, yeah. do you and need fire? Right now. Okay, we'll Let's get some fire going. Go with for you. some fire. All right. And then, of course, Chinese peanut oil, very light, easy. Okay. And then once you have these rinsed, uh -huh. just give it that good old one-inch chop right there. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm put that on high for you. Do you need some olive oil? Uh, peanut. You got some peanut oil. Okay, yeah. right there. How much peanut oil? The whole thing? Uh, no, just. You tell me when. That's good. That's good right That's there. Good. Okay. Yep. Use some peanut oil. I like peanut oil. Yep. You know, when you make poke, a lot of people don't realize you want to get that shiny texture on the poke. Yeah. A little bit peanut, peanut oil. oil. Yeah. You don't have to use the sesame oil too. A lot yeah. of people don't like sesame oil. Yeah. All right. So you just. Sometimes uh, a little bit too much sesame so, oil. Yeah. Just gives that um, 
It, it can be a little overbearing. It does, yeah. And Chinese cooking, usually the sesame oil is done at the end. Yeah. It yeah. just gives that, just a flavor. Yeah, yeah. So, All right, so okay. what we do next? So now we're going to get some of the, let's get the garlic in there. All right. Okay. We put this on high for you. Sure. Yeah, stir fry is usually done on high heat. Yeah. yeah. Now you're a, you're a limb. I am. Yes. How, how big is the family? It's pretty big now. We're yeah, going you, you have a second, head count? Second, <laughs> well, we have a second generation now of musicians and singers uh -huh. and dancers. How, what, what is it like, like Christmas time or a holiday at the house? Funny you should ask. Um, when my mother was alive, she just uh -huh. passed this past year. We'd all go home to Kohala, of course. Uh -huh. Go home to Kohala. Kohala on the big island. Yeah. And then um, we'd all just gather around her Christmas tree. And before we can open the presents, which is 12 o'clock at midnight, uh -huh. we'd all have to sing. Yeah. Kids oh, and all. Great. All right. We got about 30 seconds to finish this dish. So we're gonna throw the we opai in there. Opai in there. All right. Okay. And so the opai has great flavor, by the way. For those of you who never used it before on the yeah. mainland, uh, it's dry shrimp, you know. All right, just throw all then of we're that gonna in there. Throw all that in okay. there. <clears throat> because they're going to melt down. Yes. Yeah. It's gonna become. This is gonna get half the size. Yeah. All right. Definitely. All right, so we'll throw it in there. So it's a yeah. big jam session during the holidays. The big jam session. You guys ever record it? No. You guys should record it and do an album, just Christmas songs. Just Christmas songs. Yeah. We tried to do it, but we just couldn't get the feeling in July. To do, um, <laughs> in July. Just All right, we're going to finish up this dish. Uh, we just what, show you? A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Aloha, show you. And then uh, that's it. That's it. And you can just put just a little salt. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of salt. We're going to finish up the dish, and when we come back, we'll show you what it looks like, okay? We have Nani Lim Yap hanging out with us in the kitchen right here at Kualoa Ranch. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Aloha. Very simple. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. I'm here with Nani Lim Yap, and uh, this looks awesome. You want to tell everybody what it is again? Sure, it's stir-fry bok choy. Yes, very simple, right? You can put the re recipe on the website. I'm just going to plate it this. What are you going to make next? Okay, I'm going to make some braised um, dao si or black bean short ribs. Oh, nice. We got a, a very heavy influenced Chinese. I don't think a lot of people realize how how the Chinese have influenced us so much here in Hawaii. Right. You know? Okay, what do we need? What do we got to do? Okay. First of all, we're going to take some short ribs. I usually use the one with the bone in, but um, okay. we'll go one without. It cooks right. faster, too, you know? And, you know, for, for those people wondering why so many Chinese, the Chinese came, I mean, King Kamehameha, the first hired Chinese to be carpenters, they came on sandalwood trading ships. Yep. You know? Uh, that's as early as 1800 they came here, and they've been such a heavy influence on our culture, on our food, on everything. They introduced us to noodles and rice. I think 1852 the plantation started, and 30,000 Chinese came. Yep. Right? You can We're ask any, any Hawaiian if they, uh, what nationality they are, and 9 out of 10 will tell you Chinese. Hawaiian They're Chinese. Chinese. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're from, um, my, my um, people migrated to Halava, uh -huh. and there in Halava, um, they were you know, Chinese, Chinese, but they yeah. learn to speak, they learn to speak um, Hawaiian yeah, fluently. Cool. All right, what did you just put in the bowl Okay, there? and that is some um, black bean paste that already has garlic in it. Okay. And you can buy it and you can just buy, like that. You can get it anywhere, right? Yes. And then right. I'm going to chop a little bit more garlic because um, I like it more garlicky. I think everyone does. Right. Plenty garlic, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Put as much as you like. So we're just getting some garlic, more garlic in there. More ono, we say. All right. You know. Where's the last okay. city you uh, visited? Did I, you travel a lot? I just went to J Japan again yeah. with Robert Casimiro. And I was there the same time. Really? Yes, I was ta I was texting him on uh, Instagram or something. He's like, where oh. are you at? Were you guys performing? Yes, we did. Uh, yeah. With him. Um, he does a really beautiful show. And I love to do that at the end of our season because that's a... That's always a great thing. That's um, awesome. What do you and, put in there next? And then I'm going to, first, I'm going to salt the meat, but I'm going to get this garlic, um, this um, honey in here. Nice. Because I do want it to get um, flavor. All right, you put like a teaspoon of honey in there? Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're going to, how are we going to prepare this? Okay, so we're, we're going to sous vide this. Sous vide. Um, sous vide is uh, um, cooked in a heated Fan water bath. Fancy name. <laughs> <laughs> it's French. We're going to boil them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to boil them. In a bag. Yeah, in a bag, yeah. All right, so what do you add in there? I'm just adding a little soy sauce. Okay, aloha show you. Yeah, giving it a little consistency. Okay. And then we're gonna just, just put the, like uh, the meat inside of that. Yeah. 
Now, what do we have to do to uh, sous vide the oil? Now, you need to turn this on for you? Yes. All right. So that's the sous vide, and that is ready to go. All right. Okay. I'm going to just taste a little bit yeah, of Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, awesome. If you go to any Chinese restaurant, you'll find a, a black bean recipe with something. Yeah, a little right. bit of salt. All right. Yeah, get that in there. Put that into our... Let's put this up there so everybody can see. Okay. It. There you go. Put that into our um, sauce. Okay. Yeah. So you're not going to put a lot in there. You're not. You're not going to drown it. You just. No, no, no. You're just going to coat that. Okay. We got about thirty seconds just left. Just like that. All right. Then it goes into the, the Ziploc bag. The fancy name. Okay. I'm going to just get this out of the way. Ziploc bag, just like that, and we try to place it flat. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Then it's going to go into that water bath. All right. Which is the method called sous vide. Okay. And how long? That would be at 130 degrees Fahrenheit okay. for five hours. There you go. When we come back, we're going to take a look at what that looks like through the magic of television. We're going to get it in there, and we'll show you. All right? We have Nani Lim Yap hanging out with us. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch, and uh, we just got the sous vide going. Uh, you want to explain a little bit about the temperature again that you're going to put this sure. in? Sure. It's a 131 degrees Fahrenheit, and okay. then we're going to leave that in there for five hours. Five hours. All right. Have you done this before? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> just got to check. And if you don't have a, a sous vide at home, I guess there's no way that you can do this. Yes? Uh, no, you could probably do it in a. You could probably <laughs> do it in a crock pot. Yeah, do it. Just slow, do it in a crock pot. Very point. slow. We'll we'll give you some uh, alternate uh, ways to do it on our <laughs> on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. All right, so we'll put that in there. Yes. I'm just gonna seal that off. Get this up. Nice. Yeah. And you're gonna clip it to the side so we don't lose them. Yeah. Just get uh, go Office Depot, get some clips. All right. That works. What are we gonna make next? Okay. Next, we're gonna make just sweet potato salad. Oh, I love sweet potato salad. Okay. My mom used to make this, and I, different recipes are, yeah, are awesome. Yeah. While you're doing that, I want to show everybody, we did a, a sous vide finished one, and we have that right over here. That looks and smells amazing. Okay. I just Do you wanna, want me to finish that? Yeah, we might okay. as well finish this sure. first since we're on it. So we'll get to the sweet potato salad in a minute. Um, but this is what it comes out looking like. Yes, um, and we just heated it. Yeah. We just heated it just a little bit. And the whole process is to get uh, the same temperature all the way around the meat on every angle, and that's why it's the new thing to do. The kids are doing it nowadays, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did All we? Right. What, do we what do you need? Soy sauce? Yes, we get some shoyu. Okay. Just oh. a little. We, uh, oh, actually, you yeah, know what? Right, we Here, use from we'll the just pan, use right? this. Okay. We'll just use some of the pan gravy. I'm going to put it on for you yeah. like that. What's your favorite food from Japan? <gasps> you always shabu. go to Japan. Shabu shabu. 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 I, yes, go to, I. I go to this place called Mo'o Mo'o Shabu Shabu. Where? It's in Shinjuku. All you can eat for 90 minutes. Oh, what are Ooh, we doing here? Wow, and now we're just going to um, caramelize the outside. Okay. Because it has um, uh, honey already. Fancy. Yeah. So Fancy. we're just caramelizing the outside. Uh -huh. Fancy, fancy. Just yeah. like that. Uh -huh. Looks good. It smells good. I wish you guys could smell this. Awesome. Okay. Right then, on. Okay, we're um, just doing two pieces. Is that for you or is that for me? That's for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank Let's you. just do two pieces. All right, pieces. I'm just going to move this out of the way over here. And then just let me let you see just oh, that what it awesome. looks like. That looks excellent. All right. So okay. that's what sous vide so is that's all what, about. That's what it's all about. We'll move this on the side and we're going to get the next, the sweet potato yes. salad going. Okay. All right, so now you know what that looks like. What do we need for the sweet potato okay, salad? Okay, we got some purple potato. Okay. We got some white potato. All right. Okinawan sweet potato. Yes. I tried molokai. Yeah, how is couldn't it? Couldn't find it. Couldn't, uh, no, just oh, couldn't find it. That's yeah. all. Hard for fine when it's good, yeah? All right. So we got a half a potato each? One yeah. potato? Yeah, just half a potato. Just okay. making it even. All right. Okay. We got some crab. And then we got some crab. Imitation crab. Just if you can good. get the real thing, it would be the best. Real, yeah. Yeah. That's Hawaiian good. style. Thanksgiving. Lots of family. Yeah. Imitation. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to take some. Egg. egg. Just the one egg, egg. Egg, I try to um, keep, oh, you know what? Let me get this egg over here. Let okay. me use a clean egg. Yeah, you can use a couple eggs. You ever um, use QP mayonnaise? You know, yeah, Hawaii you people know, love That love is really, food. really ono. Isn't That's it amazing? Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> it's becoming a Japanese mayo. show. Okay, now in sweet potato. Well, if you can use it, I guess, you know, but best foods, mayo. I guess, it's, you know, it's a Hawaii thing. Yeah, right? it's a Hawaii you know? thing. Let's yeah. spam. 
So I love eggs, by the way. So you can put as many eggs as products. you want in this for me. Anyway. Okay, okay. Just, just some eggs, just to balance that out. Okay. Very easy. Okay, very easy. Um, and then we're going to take some onion. To me, onion is the key. I think uh, uh, I noticed any dish that you have from Hawaii, you need some kind of crunch. Do you notice that? Yeah. We put takwan or or some kind oh of kimchi God. or some kind of pickled vegetable on the side. But in a in a mac salad, a potato salad, the onion is always key. I onion, think. yes. Yeah. Key. Good job with that. We're going to put the uh, recipe on our website, by the way, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. All right? Okay. Do when that we quickly. come back, we're going to finish up this salad. So don't go anywhere. Cooking Hawaiian Style from Kualoa Ranch. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Kualoa Ranch. We have Nani Lim Yap here. Aloha. And uh, we're making a sweet potato salad yes. with eggs. I love eggs. Yes. Love eggs. You know, we have a lot of people listening and watching on the mainland mm -hmm. and, and all over the, the world now. You t kind of tell everybody what you do because you come from a very big family of entertainers. <laughs> you do I'm a little a, bit of everything. Yeah, I'm a singer uh -huh. and I also have a halau uh -huh. in uh, Big Island. Um, Used to be Naleo Koholoku, now it's Halau Manaola. And uh, a Halau is, of course, a school, school for dance. School of hula, yeah. yeah. And uh, you travel a lot? Travel a lot. Uh -huh. um, sharing hula, sharing music as well. I'm a, a Lifetime Achievement Award yes. <laughs> winner for Hawaiian music. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, yeah, so I travel still doing that. So I, I always say I'm semi-retired. Semi-retired. Semi doing what you love, but still, though, yes, right? No exactly. Work. Oh, boy, I want to exactly. travel with you. <laughs> All right, so we diced in some onions. Yes. We got a, a full sweet potato. Now, Okinawan sweet potato looks like this. If you see, I, I, some people will go in the grocery store and say they can't find it because it, they can't find the color. The color purple. The yes. purple is inside the skin, okay, just so you know, because people have emailed me before. Yes. Where do you find a sweet potato? It's in your store. And then you got a regular potato. Yes. Okay. We, I've chopped some onions. What's so, in the bowl again? Um, in the bowl is already the Okinawan potato, uh -huh. the regular potato, some eggs, and some imitation crab. Yes. All right. And I'm just going to add a little onion, some, okay. just some onions for crunch. You can also grate the onions in there if you want, if you don't want to find that crunch, but we like it. Yes. Okay. And just a little bit. Are you still living on the big island? Yes. Yeah? Yes. In and, Waikoloa. Uh, in Waikoloa. You know, where, you're, where your family is from, what a great place. Kohala. What a, what a beautiful place it is. Beautiful. You know, if you ever get a chance to visit the big island, you have to go and visit uh, the, the, its country. It is country. Yeah. It's kind of like Lanai. Yeah. That's probably why I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so put some Hawaiian salt. Just a little salt in okay. there. Okay. There we well, go. Well, I'm going to say just a little, yeah. And usually we, um, I use my hands. Go, you go for it if you have to. We washed our hands here. We always wash our hands here before each segment, by the way. That's our biggest email. The most amount of emails. Do you guys wash your hands? I, um, <laughs> I'm a stickler about yeah. clean. You have to be clean. Everything. Right? All right, and, and just a little bit more Hawaiian salt. And then and this then is the last, what course, you need right here. Yes. That's the magic. All right, so. To we'll hold I'm it gonna, all together. Then I, can I get a spoon yeah, from down there? Yeah, you can there? get a spoon. Oh, you get your smaller one here? Sure. There you go. Okay. And, and that's perfect. So we're going to add some mayo. So do you, do you come to Oahu often? Do you spend most of your time at, at the Big Island? No, pretty much I come to Oahu. Um, my son lives here now. Yeah. Um, so there are little things that I help him design-wise. That's awesome. For his things, yes. Yeah, you want to tell everybody where the stores are? Do you know where they are? Yes, it's in Almoana Center, um, and it's uh, right next to Seeds Candies. Yes. Um, and it's a great location. For, um, for the people who don't know, I always tell them next to the old Patty's Chinese Kitchen. Remember that? Yes. <laughs> That's where it used to be. When we come back, we're going to try all this des deliciousness, and uh, I can't wait to try your sous vide beef, by the way. Don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style right here from Kualoa Ranch. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by The Star Advertiser and Miley's Thai Bistro. Now it's time for the favorite part of the show. I love doing this part because I get to eat and taste. Thank you so much for being here. You want to tell everybody again what you did, the first dish, first of all? Okay, and this was a bok choy, stir-fry. Stir uh -huh. 
And then the second dish I made is um, dalsi or black bean short ribs. Awesome. And sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. This, this is so good because it's so simple. Yeah. And you can taste the 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 opai. Opai, yeah. You know, and you only used four or five pieces. But I've been waiting to try this because Chinese don't use souvet, you know what I mean? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Not overpowering at all. Yeah, simple. You want to go ahead and try that one? Try sure. your, your potato salad. Awesome. Sweet potato salad. You got a purple sweet potato. You got a regular sweet potato. You got eggs, onions, uh, mayo. Uh, very simple. You can get it on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And then, of course, the, the bok choy, you can get that as well. And again, the black bean sauce. You bought the black bean ahead of time. Sauce, and uh -huh. then I added more garlic. More garlic. Very easy. You want to tell everybody where we can find you guys on, on social media? Sure. Website? Manaola. Hawaii.com. Very easy. And I, I best of luck to you, to you and your family and Manaola. You. Doing amazing things for the Hawaiian community. I think this whole New York thing just blew it up, didn't it? That's our purpose. Is yeah. To, yeah, it brings forth our culture. Yeah. Mahalo for coming on. Thank you. Check out our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Get our cookbooks. We got one and two on Amazon or from the website. We'll see you next time from Kualoa Ranch. Aloha. Aloha. I love this salad.